Hello, stock traders. I hope all of you had a fantastic trading week so far, month to date. I am personally up 2.74%, so so far this month's been pretty flat. Looking forward to some great gains. Hopefully the last couple days get us some good gains. Year to date though, personally, I am at a 157.36% gain. Hopefully all of you are doing fantastic and having a wonderful year so far. In today's video, I'm going to give a recap of the stocks from our basic room that were sold for the last week and give you a win rate. It is so important to track your trades each and every day. And that is why I do it and go through this process. But before I get going, if you could do me a favor and please hit that most amazing and wonderful like button. Also, if you haven't done so before, please subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so you get notified when a new video comes out. In the links, I have links in the description down below. We have link for we if you're wanting free stocks, we have a link for BlockFi if you're wanting free cryptocurrency and to earn interest on your cryptocurrency. And we also have a link for our Patreon group, and that is my Patreon group. And it is so important to do at least that basic level. But we are giving away this weekend over for Monday and Tuesday a quick little free two-day preview. If you go on in, on there and sign in and sign up for the first month, I will refund you that first month's payment. And then when we get over to the new month, if you want to stay, but you just stay, and then it will recurring charge as long as you wanna be in. But if you've ever been curious to the alert system that we have in there, all the alerts that I give out for the insider swing play in our basic level, and then all the other levels associated with different alerts and different stocks that I'm looking at, and you've been curious, then this is the time to give it a try for free. Okay, so let's start by recapping the different stocks that were sold this last week in our insider swing play. This is in our basic room and we start with SOFI sold for a 4.54% gain. TXMD sold for a 7.84% gain. ENR sold for a 5.7% loss. ORGO sold for a 7.47% gain. RILY sold for a 4.64% loss. REI sold for a 5.21% gain. RGGB sold for a 4.93% gain. REED sold for a 0.05% gain. And LUMO sold for a 2.53% gain. So that was nine total picks, with seven of those being winners for a 77.78% win percentage and an average gain per pick of 2.44% percent average gain. So over the last five years, I have averaged a 70% gain with an average gain per pick of 3% and an average win rate of 70% overall. We have only one PDUFA run-up pick to report selling, and that is ASND. Got early FDA approval, just a surprise FDA approval. What I am hoping for for VRCA, exactly what I'm hoping for for them. Hopefully that happens this next week. But for a 22.77% gain, a great trade that was really, uh, really good. It was, it was, oh, it's always nice to get an FDA approval. That is for sure. All right, so let's not waste a lot of time. Let's get into this top seven list. I have a really good list for you this week. And all of these stocks that are in this list are good mid to long term holds. If you are wanting uh, just a quick synopsis of the different stocks, click in the description of the link down below and I will have a list of which pick is what. But if you want more detailed information, please continue watching. All right, here we go. Number seven is ticker symbol VRCA. This is Verica Pharma. And this has been on the list for a while. This is a PDUFA run-up stock. We have many other PDUFA run-up stocks in our Discord, so if you are wanting to be a member of our Patreon, that is a good place to get that and try those out and see what those are. And we cover these in our basic level of our Patreon. My personal price target for this stock is $20 a share. My average in it is $13.63. I got in and on early, and then the FDA approval got delayed, and it really hurt me. And I've been kind of sitting on this loss. I've been a bag holder for sure, but the reason why I've stayed in this is because there's been 
lots of insider trades and lots of insider buying by the CFO and other officers within the company throughout this entire process. And so they've seen this as being very undervalued. And so I do too, I agree. I believe it's undervalued. But now we are starting to see our FDA run up. So now that we have that new PDUFA date of September 23rd coming up, we are starting to see this run. My average in it is $13.63 since calling us out is down 18.38%. We are looking for approval at any time and expecting this run to continue. Looking really, really good. Hopefully we can get an early approval just like we got with ASND this last week. All right, number six has been really fantastic. And this is Krispy Kreme, ticker symbol DNUT. This is an insider swing play. My price target for this is $17.50. All of our insider swing plays are covered in our basic room of our Patreon group. My average in it is $14.57 since calling this out in that basic group. And since that, it is up 16.67%. Looking really, really good. After insider activity, and that insider activity has been continuing all this week. We have seen many insider purchases again by the same officer. And so I'm really loving this run so far, up 16%, but I think there is more to go. And this should be really, really good. I feel it's very, uh, I think it's undervalued and analysts agree. They believe it's worth $20.89 average per one. My price target for it's $17.50 and we're almost there. Uh, but I think this stock has just really been terrific and looking forward to more. Okay, number five. Number five is Baker Hughes, ticker symbol BKR, and this is part of the buyback strategy. And the buyback strategy is covered in our premium room of our Patreon group. My price target for this is $30 a share. I got in on it originally and called it out at $21.05. That is my average since calling us out is up 9.60%. They had earnings before and uh, the stock was well beat up with an earnings, but they announced a very significant $2 billion buyback program. And because of that, you can see that it has really been marching upwards. We did have this pullback here along with the rest of the market that happened last week. But this is looking really great and is starting to really get up there. And I, I have full confidence that this is going to hit the $30 price target. It might be about six months. It'll take about six months to get there. Uh, there are lots of other great picks like that in our premium room. It's definitely worth checking out. Okay, number four. Here we go. Number four was number one last week. Now, that does not mean that I don't believe in it. This is BitFarms, ticker symbol B-I-T-F. This is part of our golden strategy that is covered in our premium room. And my price target for this is $20 a share. I'm expecting a big move with this. And I'm going to kind of talk about that why here more in just a moment. But since calling this out, I entered at $6.04 as my personal average. Many of our members got in better than me on that. And since calling this out is down 2.31%. But I am expecting Bitcoin to soar to all time highs. And why did I choose BitFarm rather than Mara or Riot? Because BitFarm is a lot better than Mara and Riot. And here's how it's better. It's better. It's a better value in my opinion because of their hash rate versus market cap. So um, being the market capitalization where the company is at right now, their hash rate is extremely, extremely high and they are benefiting big time from all the crackdown in China. I expect as Bit Bitcoin will get back to 65,000 and even beyond that all time highs. I really think it could hit 100,000 by the end of the year. And because of that reason, I think BitFarm is perfectly positioned. And so if you have not entered on this, you have not missed the boat by any means of the imagination. You can make big money on this stock. They just had an offering, so there's no worries of another offering or any kind of capital raise happening in the future. No dilution of shares. I think this is a great one to get into. All right, number three is CryCut. CRCT is the ticker symbol. This is part of the insider swing play that's covered in our basic room. My price target for this is $40 per share. I entered at $28.55 and called this out in our basic room. And since calling this out, it is up 4.83%, doing very well. And I think it will continue much, much, much higher. And here's why. Colin Morin, a 10% owner, has been loading stock each and every day 
has not missed is buying a bunch of stock. And there's this is a big amount of stock that's being taken off the market and no one's really paying attention. And I think this is really just getting going. They had this big downturn uh, due to earnings. It got way oversold here and some people, some very smart investors got in there uh, and Colin probably loaded up here. Um, you know, $29.93 right now in after hours, it's at $31 probably in pre-market by the time you're looking at this video on Monday morning. And I think that this one has a huge amount of potential. We're about to have a MACD Golden Cross. We have positive momentum on the RSI and this insider activity is really pushing this forward and I don't expect that insider activity to stop. I think that this is going to do really, really well. You have not missed the boat by any means and it should do great. Number two is Tupperware, ticker symbol TUP and Tupperware party at my house if this thing hits my price target of $38 per share. This is part of our buyback strategy that is part of our premium room and this is a call out. And when I first call this out, it was at $22.20. That is actually my average. And since calling this out, it is up 6.80%. But they had a $1 billion buyback announced. This is a fantastic value. And it has really not moved very much from the buyback being announced here. You can see how it initially responded. And then we had that big pullback in the market where just everything got creamed and uh, Tupperware did not do well during that period of time. But now um, it's starting to recover and starting to move upwards. And I really think that we are gonna hit that $38 price target. That is what I think it's worth. Um, as far as the 52 a week uh, high, it was at 38.50. I think we can easily get back there, uh, especially with this buyback and as they are buying back all of these shares based upon how many shares are available, all of those type of calculations. I really do think $38 a share is very reasonable. Within the next six months, on this particular stock. Okay, let's go to number one. All right, number one is MyoVent Sciences, ticker symbol MYOV. I have made so much money on this ticker symbol. On this company and trading stock on this company has been absolutely fantastic. This is one of those that typically has, once it starts having insider activity, it lasts for a very long time. And that is exactly what's happening again. And so this is part of an insider swing play that is covered in our basic room of our Patreon. And my price target for this is $35 a share. Since calling this out at $21 and a penny earlier this week, it is up 12.33% and looking forward to getting to much higher prices. Submit Vant has been, their parent company has been buying up shares again. And this happened last year and man, this stock really, really soared. And some would say, well, that was the recovery from the uh, from the pandemic and all of that. Every stock soared at that particular time. Yes, but Myov doubled and then tripled and then quadrupled. It continued to move on insider activity. Now, I don't think it's going to be quite as insane as it was last year because it did get ridiculously beat up and Myovent got all the way down to $6 a share, which is ridiculous. Um, but anyway, I do expect this to be really, really powerful. And you have not missed out on this. This is still happening. These insider transactions should last over the next couple of months and uh, they are powerful and the stock continues to move up and I expect that this will be really good. I hope all of you enjoy these lists and have made money off of the different stock picks that come from my different stock lists. Be sure to check out some of those other videos like short squeeze videos that I do every week. Uh, this is what institutions are loading videos, so on and so forth. Not every pick is good, but I would say most of my picks do perform well on the market even after I've had my video. Please check it out, see what you think. Um, and I hope to see you in our Discord and our Patreon. If not, I wish you all the best on the stock market and all of those who are in there wish all of you the best on the stock market. It is tough out there and Raytoven out.